Baby. That's not even the one that caught me. You know, uh, he, when he began, he was chanting some things using different tones. Mm. He reminded me of a, a, a senior colleague back in time, some 30, almost 30 years ago. He said in Ijebu language that uh, it's just one sentence described the same thing for the same one single word. Biodo, show it to Jordan says, Mate, All meaning the same thing. All meaning put off. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> so, well, I, I guess we'll explain that. <laughs> Baba Rujeje, uh, real name Michael Fashina, is with us this morning. Uh, thank you for joining us. An international, creatively dynamic, inspirational entertainer. A minister of the gospel featured here and there and everywhere. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, thank you for having me. I am glad to be here. Yes. What is the meaning of a rujeje? Um, there is a drink called a rujeje. <laughs> uh, um, well, that was something that happened a number of years ago, and when it happened, I, I, I was just I didn't know what to say, but uh, well, they chose to use that name. Funny enough, the name itself has, as you have rightly. Asked. Um, um, I think the best way I can describe it will be, you know, in time past, if you take all the continents of the world, meaning um, North America, South America, Asia, um, Australia, and uh, <laughs> Africa, Antarctica, uh -huh. if, and if you, if you were to look at and all Europe, the, Europe. Yes, Europe too. Uh, uh. If you were to look at all the ancient men of old, uh, they knew that there was an ultimate authority in the heavens and that rules in the affairs of men and that he must have created everything. And um, it was still a bit of a mystery to them. So they wanted to attempt to give him names. Mm -hmm. So how best to give him names than to look at the works of his hands, mm -hmm. uh, being earth, water, wind, and fire, mm -hmm. and uh, the awesome nature of these elements, and they began to give names to him, metaphorically, based on all these elements. One of such names, uh, let me not mention all those other, but from where I come from, uh, one of such names is, the, they call him the Alagbalubuibu, which simply means that he is the widest expanse of waters, limitless in depths and in width. Yeah. Some went further and they called him the Amoruru, Alaruru, or Taruru, Saruru, Kiniti, Nsileni, Nyokunku. Uh, if I will inter permit me to interpret that one, it simply means that the one we're serving is the whitest, the purest, the cleanest, the Lord of blazing light, and he lodges over every form of darkness that have ever existed in creation. The final one I want to mention is this. They call him the money, 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 which, 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 which simply put, is um, he's the one that knows us. He formed us. He fabricated our anatomical outlay. He is the learned one who understands the fetus or the baby in the womb of a snail. Now, uh, from the Europa standpoint, um, all these names number in the hundreds. And I believe the Yoruba people summed it up into one, which is Erujeje, which means the awesome one, all put together. I hope I've not talked too much. <laughs> so, are you... Uh, with these few words of his, I hope I've not, I've you not hope convinced, you have convinced me. Convinced, yes. <laughs> you hope intention. you have convinced me. Okay. How did this right. start for you? Uh, well, um, how it started, mm. okay, now, um, I had some issues in the past uh, a while ago, and, um, well, okay, let me, let me go back to where it started from. I, I once I came to know someone who who touched my heart, who changed uh, very, virtually everything about me, and <coughs> that's in the person of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I really it was maybe I, I took it a bit more than most people, and I was able to. But it's it, maybe along down the line I had some issues, and they were very heavy issues. And almost like a, like a cloud. Some of people will call it depression or what you call it, like a cloud <laughs> hanging over you. And, but I noticed that whenever I opened my mouth to sing, it lifted. And so whenever I came, 
I would sing more. And uh, to, to afford myself for the cloud to go away. So, and that brought a lot of solution to my, my, what was happening to me at that time. And then also in my mind, I would, I had this unique ability, not unique, virtually everybody has it. The ability to escape from reality into an abstract world. <laughs> and so I would imagine, I had this very powerful sense of imagination. And um, so I became creative as taking the stories from there and bringing it in reality and writing it into, uh, and then I also had this desire for folk laws, folk tunes and all that. So I had, it, 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 that helped me to write my very first opera back then, which was titled Every J. And the person you are looking okay. at is, uh, is uh, the main character. Yes, there, yes. Mm -hmm. So, and, and so over the years, I would carry out research, I would study. And then, of course, someone also advised me to go and study in the high institution, uh, music uh, related, you know. So I studied music technology with options in performing arts. I, I, must, I majored on human voice. And um, so over the years, I, what I will say is this. This is what you are seeing now, the concept, is a synergy of a host of things which metamorphosed into different um, stages and then culminated into what you now see as the EWJJ concept, yes. Concept? Yes. Not persona? Oh. Uh, no, the persona is there. Mm. But every other thing, because I, I basically use the arts to pass across God's Okay, yes. now that is an interesting way to put it. Mm. You use the arts. Um, it's... The person we're seeing is the persona of Eru Jeje, yes. right? Yes. But Michael Fashino is the person yes. inside the... Uh, yes, one young man that I know One somewhere. young man yes. that you know somewhere. Yes. yes. Mm, mm, mm? Mm, mm. Okay. Now, what are the challenges, some of the challenges that have come um, with this for Michael Fashino? Um, That's young boy. Uh, uh, well, one other thing is that a lot of people do not know him, you know. And, the same way uh, they don't know Lagwaja? Uh, more or less, yes. <laughs> and so it is possible for him to buy a body by the roadside, but, and then nobody will know. It's possible for him to shout at the conductor. Nobody will say that is the person. So it's possible for him to live a, a normal life, and uh, he will not be... If was that the purpose of all of this? Um, well, the purpose, okay, now, thank God you, you've asked for that. And um, because when he started out, he was more into contemporary music. Okay. And um, only a class of people subscribed to that. So he was more interested in doing what not just the younger generation will accept, but what even the elderly and okay. the middle-aged people were there. So this came across and it was more widely uh, accepted. Yes. So now you, you <laughs> said that you had this. Uh, the reason I'm asking these questions is because part of the reason for the Artist of the Week yes. is to inspire. Yes. It's yes. to oh. provoke other people mm -hmm. who are out there, yes. who should be doing stuff like this but for one reason or the other they're afraid uh, who is going to accept me and all of that did you have that petrification at any level well okay let me put it this way when we started out it wasn't a popular thing uh, people didn't really um accept it as i would have thought they would accept it some class accepted it mm. but then it was more more or less like something that was Permit me to use this phrase. There's this phrase that was used concerning Jesus in the Bible. It says, the zeal of the Lord consumed me. So it was something I saw as a lifelong um, venture. Oh, eh, no, don't let me use venture. A lifelong uh, journey. Mm -hmm. yeah. And which I didn't have a choice to. It was something I loved doing. It was something I knew I had to do. It was something, you know, th there's another place in the scripture. It says, the communication of your faith might become effectual when you acknowledge the good things in you in Christ Jesus. Now, those good things can be termed to be talents. It could be termed to be gifts. Uh, you know, the another place says, I've given you power to make wealth. Those are those salient things that you cannot 
really attach a price to. Mm. They are um, in it, and it comes with everyone. That's the funny thing. Every every human being has it. You have some people call it the wow factor about you. Some people call it the it, it's it's a latent thing. It's a power that is resident in you that is placed there when your manufacturer was creating you. So every man has it. Every man. So one you cannot say you don't do not have that wow factor. Every human being has it. Uh, it's just that. But agreeing to it that mm. that you have it, that's another thing altogether. Uh, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because you see. The whole intent for or the whole the, the reason why um, um, the enemy of your soul will not want you to see it is because the moment you know it and the moment you begin to give it attention, uh, your purpose on earth will become manifest. more of yes, it will manifest and mm. and that is what he doesn't want you you to. How do you describe your genre of art? Mm. Ah. Olagbara. <laughs> Olagbara is very powerful because uh, it was difficult for me to, to describe it. Much like you see that nomenclature that I was talking about, when, uh, even when Moses went to God and said, God, you are sending me, who should I say is sending me? Even God himself, to give himself a name, he said, I am. Because how do you give names to some? And, okay, so let me come back to the question. <laughs> the, 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 this genre, hmm, mm. how do I give it a name? Okay, I will call it ethnomusical, mm -hmm. ethnomusical, ecological. Mm -hmm. Let's just say it expression. is. Do you know it's becoming plenty? Ah, okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. sorry. Okay. No. It, it is. How do I describe it? It, it is. <laughs> okay, exactly. every, everything under the arts is divided into three parts. Sorry. I don't tell you. <laughs> Sorry. You have, I music. Found <laughs> you have music, you have dance, yes. and you have uh, drama. Um, there are other various expressions. M musical, dramatic. Uh, uh, yes, there are other various ex expressions under there somewhere. But the major ones are music, dance, and drama. And uh, a, a while ago, God helped me to understand, you know, <clears throat> when, when you are, let's say you are in church, you are listening to somebody sing or you go for an event, somebody is singing, and he doesn't gesticulate, he doesn't act it out, he doesn't, he's not immersed in what he's doing. You will just be waiting for the person to finish. Please, finish and carry yourself away from there. <laughs> but I, I understood that and I had to add a bit of artistry to the singing and the ex be be immersed in this as it, and then I noticed that it, it went further, mm. it reached further, so essentially and it was it is more to, lasting in the heart of yeah, it. Yes. Yeah, essentially is to give it um, a uniqueness that to make it appealing. It wasn't intentional, but it did that. Mm. Okay, now you said you know the Michael Fashid, no, one young man. Yeah. How old is Eri Well, if I'm going to add all of it together, this and that. This. Well, I'm not talking you, about Michael Fashion. Yes, you can safely put it as um, he turned 79. Mm. Mm. So I'm saying Eri JJ is just about six years older than my colleague here. Because she looks like, oh, you are saying she looks like 50, right? Okay, now, now the, the point is this. Let me be very Why honest bring with you. this. With, with, <laughs> When I came in, I made mention, I said, because I remember the last time I saw her. And this is a unique gift, I must tell Eight, you. Eight, ten years ago? Yes, I must, I must tell you. And, and let me repeat it again. I said, you must have not aged a day since the last time I saw you. Because she's looking fantastic. Mm. She's looking, what's that word again? Thank you. Hmm? That's the word, yes. Okay. She's looking fantastic. Okay. Um, yes. We have about two minutes. For a young mm. man like Michael Fashioner out there who mm. wants to do something and is finding it strange that this has never been done before, how am I going to even tell anyone that I want to do this? What would you advise this fellow? Um, nothing good comes easy. Uh, if you believe in it, and you trust God, and God has shown you, you, and because God speaks to us in diverse ways, mm -hmm. um, in your imagination, in your ability to 
see into the next two. Because as a human being, normal human being, you can't see beyond your nose, and that's the honest truth, but you have been endowed with certain gifts that come with you as a, it came with the package. So if you are able to see with it, uh, a, a place in the scripture says, see a man that is diligent, he will stand before kings and not men. If you repeatedly just start that thing, carry out some research about it, give it attention, let it grow, develop it, make it a bit more uh, professional. Eh? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, a bit more professional mm. than it would have been. Don't embrace mediocrity. Mm. Be professional about what you are doing. You will excel. Mm. It's just a matter of time. Okay. Give it a bit. Yeah. Now, you will sing us out. Mm. Yes. We will sing. You will sing. The camera is going to be on you, solo dia, <laughs> to sing in that um, voice. <laughs> You know, after we have signed off. After we have signed off. Um, but if you can just explain this in 30 seconds. Okay. When you say you majored in voice, yes. what does that mean? Oh, that simply means I have even more knowledge about the human voice than the average person. And uh, it, it, it also gives me, um, I, for example, in, in voice class, I am bass, mm. but I should be able to sing soprano notes, alto notes, tenor notes, I should be able to, because essentially oh, I'm supposed to be a teacher. Ranges. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, so Uru JJ Michael Fashino brings to a close sunrise for today, the fourth day of May 2024. Thank you very much for spending or for allowing us to be part of your Saturday morning. I'm Alero Idu, wishing you the best until next Saturday when, you bring, when we bring you a fresh edition. Again, we say welcome to May and have a wonderful month. I'm Ayo Makinde. Let's leave the stage for Eru Jeje to sing us out. Okay. Um, funny enough, the song that comes to mind is the old national anthem, hmm. which is um, the second verse. Says, O oh God of all creation, grant this our one request. Help us to build a nation where no man is oppressed, and so with peace and plenty, Nigeria may shall be blessed. <laughs> <laughs> That's all.